Hi, this is a quick video from Larry the Barber Man. Um, I'm having a repair day today and I've had a wall senior come in today from Slick's Barber Shop in Glasgow. Um, basically their complaint was that the clipper was cutting out. Now to be fair with you, I've actually repaired this already but I thought it's quite a great tip because this can be a common uh, uh, fault with hair clippers. So basically, I'm just gonna start off as I would normally by taking off the screws to get inside of the wall senior. So I can begin showing you exactly what I did to stop the intermittent uh, cutting out of the clipper. Uh, with the wall senior, you have three screws that you need to take out. There's one screw at the very top and two here at the very bottom, which have proven very difficult to get out today. That's two, last one. Coming out now, so that's the three screws. Then what you do, you actually take the belly off. And obviously, because they're grinding very hard down there in Glasgow, uh, these clippers are full up with hair. I've just brought out a new product which is called the Hair Blower, which basically gives you high pressured air which to clean out your clipper blades and your clippers and indeed clean down the work surfaces as you finish cutting. It's all you, this is electrically powered. It's all you do is hit the button on the side. And you get quite a bit of force. This will clean out the hair. Just a little bit of force to clean out the hair. And then you can Be very careful with this bad boy because it will blow your screws right to the other side of the room. It's a really, really powerful thing. So, this here is a switch. Uh, basically, the switch has very fine holes, and obviously, owing to the business that you're in, which is cutting hair, these fine hairs can sometimes lodge themselves in the switch. Now, when hairs lodge themselves inside of this switch, basically what happens, the hair breaks the contact between the two conductors, which causes the electricity to flow through the machine. So that was where I suspect, suspected the fault to be. So basically I have gone to uh, RS, which is an electronic uh, repair suppliers, and I bought contact cleaner. Basically this is uh, alcohol based cleaner. It has a straw. So basically now we need to get to the switch. So, so to get to the switch, you simply take out the cable you get to the uh, switch, ensure that the machine is switched off. So at the moment you'll see that I'm disconnected from any electrical power. Yeah, there's the spring there. You use the straw, you take it from one position and you basically put the straw in the switch and you give it a quick blast. Then switch the switch to the other side. And again, give it another blast with this alcohol. Where this is alcohol, it will pretty much dry up on you, so you just give it a shake to get rid of the excessive uh, fluid. Right, so I'm gonna work on reassembling it. So basically I slot the power cable back in at the bottom of the clipper. There, and on the wall senior, you've got like a metal uh, recess molding so you basically clip find out where it is and then clip it in yeah that's incorrect you know Okay, so now the three screws are back in. Uh, everything's nice and secure again. You've got a nice squeaky clean switch. You can basically now re-plug that in because after this time, all this uh, alcohol and contact cleaner would have cleaned out with the loose hair. 
you plug that into, well, in this case, because it's uh, senior, a frequency 60 hertz converter. Ooh, power, power, power. Helps if you plug things in. And we turn that on. And no matter how much I now wiggle the, the switch, uh, Greg, you will see that it's no longer cutting out. Yeah? Because before, I'm sure you would notice when you was wiggling the switch, it would make it come on and off. And that was because there was loose hair in there. But now it's nice and clean. You've got a nice, perfect contact. And there you are. One wall senior, no longer cutting out or squeaking. And you haven't needed to send off to get a new switch. It's all you've done. A uh, little bit of spray that cost you, well, cost me nine pound. Sprayed out the switch and it's nice and clean. So you can use that again for another occasion. I hope you found this video helpful. If you want to get other useful, help, helpful tips and tricks on getting the most out of your hair, hair clippers, please subscribe to my channel. Thank you.